Hello, this is a brief video clip introducing our study that will appear in the Proceedings of ICDE 2008. My name is Ali Inan. I am a PhD student at the University of Texas at Dallas. Dr. Murat from UT Dallas is my advisor. Professor Bertino is from Purdue University and Dr. Scanna Pieco is from University of Rome. The title of our paper is A Hybrid Approach to Private Record Linkage. The purpose of record linkage is identifying real-world entities represented differently across multiple data sources. Given two datasets, RNS, our task is to classify record pairs in the Cartesian product as match or mismatch. When data records are private, record linkage problem is referred to as private record linkage. In this modified version, the decision rule is assumed to be available, and the main focus is on matching record pairs privately, accurately, and efficiently. Private record linkage applies to the cases where data sources should not be revealed due to privacy concerns. Consider the following national security task. In order to prevent hijacker attacks like those of 9-11, federal intelligence agencies would like to find passengers of airline companies that are on the terrorist watch list. Notice that airline companies would not be willing to invade their customers' privacy by sharing the list of passengers. The intelligence agency cannot share the watch list either, since it's classified information. Therefore, in this scenario, intersecting these two datasets require private record linkage. A similar problem occurs in healthcare research projects. Researchers studying a certain disease would be interested in the entire medical history of the patients. But medical histories of patients usually are not held by a single hospital, but rather scattered among multiple data sources. Since privacy of an individual's medical condition is of utmost importance, hospitals cannot provide direct access to the researchers. The solution again is private record linkage that allows combining relevant pieces of private information. Our problem definition consists of three participants. There are two data holder parties with relations RNS and a querying party that provides the decision rule. We assume that schemas of RNS are matched prior to the record linkage process. Given distance functions di and matching thresholds theta i for each attribute ai, the decision rule matches two records if they are less than theta i distant on all attributes. Otherwise, a record pair is set to mismatch. The problem can equivalently be defined as a join of datasets RNS where the selection condition is the decision rule. Existing methods for priority record linkage are based on secure multiparty computation, referred in short as SMC. While these methods are probably secure against disclosure, associated costs due to cryptographic operations are too high. An alternative approach for priority record linkage would be utilizing anonymization methods that allow private information release. However, Anonymization methods require sanitizing all individual identifying information, which are vital for the record linkage process. Consequently, using only anonymous versions of the datasets results in low accuracy. We propose a hybrid approach that combines anonymization and SMC. In this method, data holders can set their own level of privacy by adjusting the anonymity requirement K. Data holders can also limit their costs by restricting the number of SMC operations. Similarly, the querying party can attain high accuracy by promoting low anonymity requirement and high SMC allowance. Our hybrid approach consists of two steps, blocking and SMC. In the blocking step, data holders independently anonymize their datasets and share the output with the querying party. Using anonymized datasets, querying party's purpose is to label as many record pairs as possible. Anonymized datasets are imprecise due to generalization and suppression. Therefore, some record pairs cannot be matched or mismatched in the blocking step. Such record pairs are labeled in the SMC step. Respecting the upper bound on the number of SMC operations imposed by the data holders, the querying party engages in a series of SMC protocols in this step. The hybrid approach has various advantages over existing methods. First, record linkage and existing methods for private record linkage are all special cases of the hybrid approach. When anonymity requirement is set to 1, which implies no privacy, the problem becomes the ordinary record linkage problem. When datasets are fully anonymized, the hybrid method is equivalent to existing methods based on SMC. Similarly, when data holders do not permit any SMC operations at all, our approach relies purely on anonymization. Second advantage of the hybrid approach is its applicability to any anonymization method and any SMC method for private record linkage. 
Our approach prevents disclosure of any mismatching record pairs to the querying party. Therefore, the precision is always 100%, which is a very desirable property in terms of privacy. The only possible downside of the hybrid approach is the risk of disclosure inherent in sharing anonymized datasets. However, since data holders choose the level of anonymity themselves, this risk is adjustable. In our paper, you will find a detailed description of the hybrid method, heuristics for deciding which record pairs to label in the SMC step, various strategies for labeling record pairs that are still unlabeled after the SMC step, and results of our experiments performed on real-world datasets. For any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. Thank you for your interest.